This is a very important day, and um, I see the neighbors here from Grassroots. Andrea, thank you for being here as well. And um, uh, this is very important, and it's certainly not something that's happening because of me. It's because of a community coming together. Uh, folks from the state delegation, from the local delegations, from, from the county council, from previous county executives to the superintendent now, maybe previous superintendents and school boards. I mean, this is something we've been working for for many, many, many years. Uh, there's been a goal and a desire to save this building and to make sure it's here for future generations to uh, to use, but also to continue the culture, to continue the understanding of what happened here. Uh, I had an opportunity, Bessie had invited me to come to a, a tour of the building not too long ago, and it was so much fun for me to walk through these halls with former students and to see the excitement in their eyes and to hear them tell the stories. I don't want that to go away. I want all of us to know about those stories forever and our children and their children because Howard County wasn't always the county we have today. You know, <laughs> I could tell Dottie we don't have that much time, but, um, but it, is, it is such an important part of our history that I don't want it to take a, a backseat ever. And I want people, I want my children, I want my grandchildren, I want all of our grandchildren to say, you know what? Back in the 50s and 60s, Howard County was going through a really tough time, but there were people who cared, white and black, from all nationalities, from all sexes, from all communities who cared about Howard County and were willing to stand up and make a difference. And so I want this building behind us to be a place where people can come to remember, to celebrate, to acknowledge all of what has happened in the past. And so it's my goal uh, to be part of that. And I know it's the beginning of a process. This is not over. This is not the end. This is the beginning of a process. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to be signing this memorandum of agreement, our understanding, so that we can get this process moving. There's stuff to be done at the state level, and I trust the state delegation and others of the state can help us with that. There'll be stuff to be done at the local level, and I trust that Mary Kay Sigany and the members of the county council will work with me to make that happen. And then we will do the best we can to work with the community to figure out the best way to use this building in the future. I mean, I can see a lot of groups being using this building from, yes. from different community groups, to different fraternities, sororities, a place to come to not just remember the past, but to build on the future. Uh, so that's why I'm so excited about this opportunity to get the process going, to have the school system be able to move the building supply services folks to go to another location that we're going to help them with. So that's <laughs> awesome. And then help us to figure out what's best to do this in the future. And that's certainly going to be a community decision. So um, that's probably enough for me to talk about because I'm just so excited. Last night, some people might have heard me. I was a little, a little more vocal because I just happened. But, um, but I'm very excited to be here. And I'm very excited to be working with, uh, with this next young lady. Angela Lacey, please come forward. On behalf of the Board of Education, I'm proud to join the county executive and superintendent in announcing this agreement. The transition of the Harriet Tugman building for use by our entire community is an important milestone in the history of this building and in the history of Howard County. I look forward to witnessing what this building will become in the coming months and years. I look so forward to it. I look forward to seeing its potential as a gathering place for the entire community of Howard County. Thank you, thank you, thank you. County Executive Kittleman for being the kind, reasonable, decent, altruistic person that you are. It has been a wonderful experience to work with you. Dr. Foose, you rock. Thank you so much, and it's up to the boss now. Good afternoon. I'm pleased that we're doing this today and I want to express my wholehearted support for this agreement. The Memorandum of Understanding outlines a plan for maintaining the historic significance of this former school building while allowing the school system to seamlessly continue the efficient operation of our school facility management functions. Thanks to the cooperative efforts of our county executive and the Howard County Board of Education, this historic facility will be made available for use by the entire Howard County community. The county and the school system are jointly committed to transferring the building to the county as soon as possible so that the process of converting it can begin. The process will require a two-phase transition so that the school system operations currently based at this location will be able to continue functioning. 
Currently, our building services and school construction departments maintain their offices and their equipment in this building. These operations are essential to the day-to-day -day functioning of the school system and cannot be suspended for any length of time. For the first phase, the county is committed to providing the school system with a temporary site where these operations will relocate while a more permanent site is prepared. The school system and the county government have already begun to coordinate this transition process. My staff is currently considering a list of temporary locations provided by the county for that relocation. Once the move to that temporary site is complete, the county will build a more permanent site for these operations and will be able to prepare the Harriet Tubman building for its use for historic and cultural purposes. In short, this agreement represents a win-win solution for the school system, the county government, and every member of our community. The school system values the significance of the Harriet Tubman building in our county's history, and I could not be more pleased that we have found this solution for preserving this building as an important historic site, which will benefit our entire community. And I want to thank County Executive Kittleman for his tireless efforts in ensuring that this happens, and his entire team for their commitment and support to make this possible today. Thank you. Harriet Tubman, Harriet Tubman, we love to dream of you. Harriet Tubman, you're a model. You're a model of a school. Thank you. I tell you, that is so. I remember we came on the bus the other day. The bus was coming down Freetown Road, and they were singing the school song. Yep. I didn't know the words, I, but um, but it was such a neat thing to hear former classmates singing the school song coming up this hill and and then it just you know it was amazing and so uh i think it's time to to sign it okay let's just stay here and we'll go ahead and sign this there's two copies here so you do one and i'll do one and i will try them over okay there you go i guess yours on the right down that side i think okay Okay, in honor of all the folks who fought, including Silas and Morris and Elhart, John Wesley, and so, so many more. So many more. And I'll tell you, well, that, he was a small part. He would tell he was a small part. But, um, but anyway, thank you for being here. It's a very important day, and I just look forward to being able to come here one day and we can all walk in here and say this is a community building to remember the history and forge the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.